Hello, uh, today I'm going to do a video about customization for the menu screen. Um, this was sort of a request from somebody, so I hope this is what you want. Uh, you're going to go to the game you are working on and then options. And when the options comes up, you're going to find the first thing is themes and then scroll down until you find this thing. This is the background of the menu. And this is this is just a color. As you can see, it's a hex code. So then you're going to put in a picture that you have in the full game folder. And save. And then you go here. Then when it opens, you now have this or whatever your background that you wanted for the screen menu. Now for music, you are going to do, I think, the same thing. You just need songs. Uh, so now you're going to go down and find where it defaults. Oh, this is the sound. So here you go. This is the music for the main menu. You just have to delete that so that it works. And now put the um, song that you want here. And it's that simple. So now when you launch the program, the music plays and you have the background. And uh, Obviously, you noticed probably that in the options there were a lot more things that you could do. So basically, all of these are very self-explanatory because they have these that explain what they are. And then all you have to do is put in your music or whatever you're going to do and then delete this so that it works. So that's how you customize the it, very simple customization. There's a lot more you could do, but um, this, that was all that was requested, and if you want me to go more into detail, then you can just ask, and I will. Uh, now, to show you how to upload your game for download, um, uh, you're going to want to make sure that your game works by saying check script. This just goes through and makes sure like it doesn't have any issues. But it doesn't really replace uh, having like a friend where you play the game to make sure everything works and like there's no mis like spelled words or bad grammar and stuff like that. Then you're gonna press build distributions. Oh, and also so then edit options. Uh, for here, the uh, config developer is gonna be set to true. You should set it to false so that when you release your game, the player doesn't cheat. And then also, um, I don't know if this is a problem for everybody, but the build directory name will probably automatically be set to something like this. And apparently you can't have, well, this should work, but mine had spaces or something in it and the game didn't like it. It took me forever to figure out why it wouldn't work and so then if you just change it to something simple with no spaces or like underscores or you know weird things that Lumpy doesn't like then you should be good and then I'm just gonna use or I'm only gonna make a Macintosh one for now to save time and since that's what I'm using um, show you that it works you should probably make it for all platforms unless you want to exclude other computers for some reason And um, so when you click it, it'll. This is just making the package, and then when it's done, you get this. And this right here is basically all you need. It's tutorial zip, or your game's name here. Zip. You can change the name if you'd like to whatever you want. Then when you unpack it, it gives you the game. And 
then to play the game you just click that and you get your game but it's like playable and stuff so anyway this is I believe this is what you use when you go to uh, to let it people download it uh, what I recommend uh, which you probably already know about is Renai and Lemasoft. If you want your game to be seen and stuff, you can post it on Lemasoft and post about it. And um, also, I would upload it to Renai. So, you can go here, you can add a game. And I'm not going to add this game because I don't really want to add it. It's not really a real game. But you just fill in all the stuff and submit it, and it should work. And then the other way to go would be to do Lemasoft, and then put it into the completed games area where people can download it from there, and that's how you upload games. So thank you for watching. Uh, comment if you have any questions or, you, or requests for me to do tutorials on. Bye!